Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I do hope you're all keeping well. Very exciting time for Xbox owners. Look, we have Flo. It's arrived at last. Flo Essentials to be exact. For Xbox. Can you believe it? I'm going to go over in this video exactly what Flow is for those new to Flow. Hopefully if you've seen one or two of my videos which I'll link down below that I've released on Flow in the past. But if you don't know what Flow is, I'll give you a quick overview and explanation. Show you the features that you get with the Xbox version of Flow. And even compare it to the PC version. Okay, let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with this video. So for you Xbox owners who are very new to Flow, let me give you a quick recap of what it is. I've already made two videos on this, an introduction video and an advanced setting, which I'll link down below in the description. Go and watch them if you want a more thorough explanation of what Flow is. Let's give you a quick recap though. Let's go to tutorials and restart the tutorial. This is what you'll get when you first buy Flow and install it on your Xbox. Goodbye toolbar, hello flow, begin. Using a mouse, I would recommend you can use the gamepad. I just find it easier to use a mouse as always on Xbox. Now you can enable or disable this top toolbar. A lot of people don't like this, so this would be a godsend for some people. So if you click on next there, you can either say remove it or keep it. Doesn't remove it all altogether, but I'm gonna Actually, I'll click on remove and show you what happens. Then it tells you here how to assign a button for the help menu. Go to your control options. Type in help menu in the search by function or search by input. Or search by name, rather. Just type in help or help menu. And then assign a button. I've got a button on my Velocity 1 flight stick, which I do on my PC as well, to bring up help menu, which brings up the flow wheel. So do assign a button for that. Go to next, it will give you spiel on flow. Let's get through this quickly. And you can subscribe to stay in touch. If you buy flow, you can read through that at your own proof. So this is the wheel. This is what flow is all about. I believe these are all the default options it gives you on the wheel. And you can add more, which I'll show you later. Let me just go back a little bit there. Let me just rewind and just take things a little bit slower for you there click out of this box so if I click the button I've got for help menu it will bring up the wheel you can click on the click on this cog here this is the settings for flow now I did say the interface I disable the top two by my mouse up nothing's coming up on the top now doesn't remove it if you click off this under interface under settings disable default toolbar you get your toolbar back if you need it I'm gonna keep it there because there's something I want to refer to you can increase the range of this scale here for settings increase or decrease I prefer it at default it's big enough for me the wheel same thing you can increase it or decrease I like the wheel at 140% if it was any smaller I don't like it on PC and Xbox I like it around this size or that size suits me you can have always centered now what this does I'm using a mouse so let's click off that click out of this and get rid of that wheel wherever the mouse is the wheel will appear so if my mouse is over here the wheel will appear some people like this I don't I prefer it to always have it centered if I'm messing around in a cockpit sometimes the wheel I'll have to drag it click on any of gray part of the wheel to drag it and you can move it around so if my mouse is over here I can't see the wheel sometimes I just prefer to have it from experience I prefer to have the wheel always centered what that does it's self-explanatory isn't it always brings it up in the center you can still move it around if you want to 
But if I don't have the wheel up, it will always come up in the center. That's the way I prefer it. Let's get to the meat and veg. What do you get with flow? Thankfully to say, with flow essentials, same on PC as well, you get the portal. So I've got a couple of people here. Now, unfortunately, these are loading into the sim. He's on his homepage. He's on boarding. He must be coming into the sim. Doberman and Be Beaming Noble Drew. Oh, they're both on the homepage. If they were at an airport, I can click on them. Guys, what are you doing to me? I can click on them and portal straight towards them. If you're in a multiplayer flight and you can't find, you're at the wrong airport. If one of those people in the multiplayer flight is your friend, you can click on them. Your whole aircraft will portal straight towards them at whatever airport they are at. Chaps, you are letting me down. Please get to... <laughs> okay, Skycraft, I've got a few people up now. A few of my friends up. Before, there was nobody, but they're all coming up now. I'll come back to that, see if I can show you that portal feature later, if they're at an airport or in the sky. Time, slightly different. If you remember in the top menu to change your time, you'd have to click your weather and you can change your time here. That's the default. Now, with flow, you get this nice nifty wheel. Look at it. If I want to get to darkness, wee. <laughs> you can set some nice transitions if you're filming and recording something, a video. You can really go to town. It's very, very nice. I like that time wheel. The weather wheel is also different. It gives you, I mean, live weather at the moment. It gives you your wind knots, wind direction. Click down here. You can change it between any of the presets. Let's do storm. Oh, I do love storms in flight sim. Let's put it on back on live weather with lovely weather. Uh, now the runway is going to stay wet for a little bit because it was raining under storm. So there you go. Weights and balances are the same. And you've got things like cameras, which are very different now. You can go between different showcase cameras. Some very nice views. You can even put these on the wheel itself. I don't want to make this too much of a tutorial into Flow because I've showed this in my other videos. Go and watch them down below in the description. One thing I will add, uh, show you though is that you can add things like different uh, widgets down here, core widgets panels so if something's not there like the VFR map I can add it to that so I can get the VFR map up now from flow uh, radios different types of things what I do like is that you can add a folder I'll rename that folder uh, let's just call it I can grab my Xbox controllers I don't have a keyboard attached to my Xbox currently but it won't take me a second so oh, it's come up but I can just do that servers there you go. It's called service. Now my camera's going to go a bit dotty when I do this. I've just got a confliction, but never mind. Okay, so now I've got service. If I click into service, nothing's there, but I can add game service. To do this, just scroll down under call widgets, go to game service. Let's click. Let's put in all these different servers, shall we? East USA server. Let's, why not add them all? Because if you're doing a multiplayer flight and all your friends are on a different server, and then just click this button to get out of that. I click of a button. If I want to go to Southeast Asia server, I'll click it. Now, it takes a moment for the names to populate in the server. So when you switch servers, the only other way you could do that before is go to your menu here. And then you would have to go here and then change servers. As you can see, we switched to Southeast Asia server, by the way. Oh, let's just close that and resume. There you go. Names are populating now. So now with Flow, bring up your wheel. If it's on that menu, just click in your service folder. And you can go to different service. Northeast Europe's playing up for me at the moment. I wonder if that's why. Let's go to Northeast Europe server. If that's why I couldn't see my friends or couldn't portal to them before. He's on profile. Nah! Let's go to this chap. Let's show you. Going to friends. So we're going to Sky Cruiser. Wait for the scenery to load. So it's just to give you an example of what Flow can do. Don't believe you could do this on the Xbox at least before Flow. 
could be wrong, or there was a different way. This is a much neater way of doing it. There you go. I've come straight towards him. Now, there's not many name tags here. Maybe that was a wrong thing to do, because I wanted to get name tags up. Oh dear, am I on North Europe server? Let's go to West Europe, see if that gives me any better. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, you get the idea of what you can do with flow. Uh, I want to select a location. I actually want to get back to London City. Uh, so let's just go EGLC. And see if we can portal back there, because there was lots of name tags, and I wanted to show you something with that. EGLC. Okay, let me just bring up my mouse again. London City. Oh, will you give over? Oh, I'm not quite sure how to portal straight towards there, unless I can. Let's just... Ah, I can. Go! Let's go back to London City. <laughs> Something I hadn't tried before. Rare achievement, roll trip. <laughs> taxi and aircraft. I didn't taxi a uh, game, but I'll take that achievement. That was fantastic. This gives you an overview of what flow is. I don't want to go into too much more than this because I've showed this in other videos. What I do want to show you is the custom name tags. Now, I'm going to link a video in this case in the top right. I made a whole separate video. Oops, on custom name tags. And the way to do that, go into your settings in Flow, go to nameplates. By default, it's already on custom name tags, and you can change colors. I'm not going to show you that's going to make this video a whole lot longer, but watch that video I've just linked in the top right. That shows you how you can change these colors to get these custom name tags. If you don't want custom name tags for whatever reason, I don't know why you wouldn't, you go back to your default ones. They're not very nice at all. I prefer the custom ones. In a nutshell, that w that's what Flow is. Just as a side, with the Xbox version, they've added more widgets I see with the default widgets. This is your first wheel. You can get to your second wheel here. So you get things like nav, beacon, lights, that type of thing. Turn them on or off. Uh, gear, if I had a gear here. Battery. Let's just see battery. Oh, it's only at 78%. Let's increase that. Now it's at 100%. Radials. Uh, let's get in the cockpit. Let's just show you this quickly. Let's just get rid of that wheel and just zoom in a little bit to these comm radials. You can see at the left there. If I want to change between standby and active, I can do that with a press of a button from Flow. You can do this in the cockpit as well, of course, or with your radio. Well, not with Xbox. You can do it in the cockpit with Xbox. I was going to say with the radio panel, but you can't use the radio panel, Logitech radio panel on Xbox. So there's a different way of doing it. And you've got things like uh, cameras. So if I go to drone camera, I've been messing around with this. Now if I grab my Xbox controller, I'm just using my Xbox controller to move around. If I want to increase the speed of that, so just a different way of doing it. I can do it with a click of a button, 100%. So there you go. I'm showing you many different features. You're probably getting dizzy with what I'm showing you there, but many different features. You've got one specific to your aircraft. What I like to do is click on that, just left click and hold. Scroll down to the sea fuel, add fuel 25%, click out of that. Let's just get back to my cockpit instruments or external camera. Now, get back to that wheel that I just added, that menu. I'm at 74% fuel. If you're in the air, you're running out of fuel, quick way to do it. So I'm running out of fuel, or I'm down to 5% fuel. I'm not, 25%. Scroll to this wheel, and you can have this on your first wheel if you want to. Add fuel. Look, 25% fuel suddenly gone into my aircraft. Fantastic. I cannot recommend flow enough, but before I do that, let me now discuss the differences between the Xbox version of flow and the PC version. So now let's talk about the differences between the PC version of Flow and Xbox. I don't believe there is a difference between Flow Essentials on Xbox and PC. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I own the Pro version on Flow. It's a bit more expensive and that's where the difference is. By the way, Flow Essentials on Xbox, I should have mentioned this before. 
it's only £12.50, which is an absolute steal. It's lower priced than many airports and aircraft add-ons. And you're going to be probably using this a whole lot more. I use it with every single flight. Let me get back to what I was saying there. I don't think there's a difference between Flow Essentials, Xbox and PC versions. With Flow Pro, you do get a couple of additions. One addition you get are uh, uh, custom widgets. These are the core widgets that you get with Flow. With Flow Pro, you get custom widgets. On the Parallel 42 Discord, which I'll link down below in the description, you've got a thing where you can download, you can go in one of their channels where you can download custom widgets. I use a couple of them on PC. Sim rate time gives you a little indication wherever you want it on screen at what sim rate you're at. Now you can add sim rate on this, increase sim rate and decrease sim rate, but you're gonna have to go into your cockpit just get rid of that for a moment. Go and look at your timer down here to see what the timer's doing. So you can see the timer there, clock rather, click uh, ticking away here. And then if you increase or decrease, you try and get it back to normal that way. There may be another way of doing that on Xbox. If there is, let me know down below in the comments. But with the uh, Xbox version, you don't get Flow Pro, so you can't add those custom widgets. I've got another one that lets me put my heading mode, uh, my heading bug rather, so this blue thing here. Now, I can do this on Xbox quite simply by clicking. I'd have to click out of this here. Uh, basically, you left click and right click your heading knob there, and it will put your heading bug right to the top where you're heading. With Flow on PC... I've got a custom widget that I can just click and it does that automatically. There's things that you can do in airliners and other custom widgets that I've still got to play around with on PC and even create them yourself. You can't do that with Flow Essentials on Xbox. Parallel 42, if by chance you watch this or one of the developers watch this, maybe put some of the popular uh, custom widgets within the Xbox environment if that's possible. The sim rate one is a fantastic one. Another thing, you get Twitch integration with Flow Pro as well. And you also get something called the auto search bar. Now, go and watch one of the videos that I've linked down below in the description. By clicking on that, it'll give you your sort of uh, uh, description of where you are sometimes. Lots of different things you can do with the auto search. I like the wiki Thing. Like I said, if you put it on wiki near, so if you're flying over an area you don't know, it'll bring up some information about that area. Don't believe you can do that, unless I'm mistaken, I didn't see it in the core widgets. I don't believe, no I don't think so, that you can do that with Flow Essentials. So there's a couple of things missing, but not a great deal. You're getting most of the core functions that I'm using day in, day out on PC Flow. You get the same with the Essentials on Xbox. And you're only paying the equivalent of around £12.50, which is an absolute steal. Recommendation guys, time guys, do I recommend Flow without a shadow of a doubt? I'm not exaggerating, if you look over any of my videos from the past few months, you're going to see the Flow wheel in most of those videos. I'm not exaggerating when I say I use it every flight. Now to have it on Xbox, when I'm using my Xbox, either to record videos or just flying around, to have Flow available for me on Xbox now is absolutely brilliant. And I fully recommend you go out and buy this without a shadow of a doubt. Don't let this one pass you by. Go out and buy Flow Essentials now if you're an Xbox user. Do let me know your thoughts below. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more, many more Xbox Flight Sim videos and Flight Sim videos in general on their way. <laughs> And I'll see you soon.